An often quoted misconception about contraceptive is the failure rate of intrauterine devices whereby a baby may be born with a contraceptive in their hands. Is there a contraceptive that is out there that is best for me? The answer to that is that for 99% of the women who have no medical issues that limit them to use any one contraceptive, all the contraceptives actually are available and open to use. However, where you start is actually a matter of preference based on guidance from your consultant or your doctor. Do contraceptives cause weight gain? And this is an area that has been researched actively for a very long time. And the good news is that even hormonal contraceptives have not been shown to consistently cause weight increase. However, there may be some, especially those that contain progesterone, that may actually increase weight. However, this increase has been shown to be no more than two kilos over a period of one year. Therefore, my answer to most couples is, when you ask that question, observe your partner as well. If both of you are gaining weight, then perhaps it's in the kitchen and not in the contraceptive. Do contraceptives cause cancer or do they increase the risk of fibroids? Again, this is an area that has been researched and we can certainly say that contraceptives have not been shown to cause cancer. In fact, some of the contraceptive choices, for example, bilateral tubal ligation, may actually reduce the risk of ovarian cancer. Natural hormones generally have been shown to increase the growth of fibroids. However, the use of synthetic hormones, such as are found in contraceptives, have not been shown to have an effect on the growth, appearance, or persistence of uterine fibroids. An often quoted misconception about contraceptive is the failure rate of intrauterine devices whereby a baby may be born with a contraceptive in their hands. In my many years of practice and the collective experience of gynecologists, that has not been born by the truth. However, this raises the concern about the contraceptive effectiveness. Most methods will have a certain failure rate. Copper and other contraceptive intrauterine devices have among the highest effectiveness. This also includes methods like implants, and sterilization. Some of the other methods may have different effectiveness based on the user compliance or uh, the user factors. For example, condoms may be very effective when correctly and consistently used, but then due to factors inherent in human behavior may actually reduce their effectiveness based on correct and consistent use.